Please, Nobuke is not a doctor. Nobuke is not a doctor. Hello, hello. Give me one second once I put on some mosquito spray because yes, ha <laughs> ha guess what? The mosquitoes are coming out as the sun is going down. Basically, it is an autoimmune skin condition. Um, and basically, it just makes your life a living hell because at its worst, you can't raise your hand, so you can't put on clothes, you can't function. And so if you have HS, I recommend you follow a bunch of Instagram pages, um, Facebook groups, like join anywhere and just know that this is very, very common. It's actually more common um, than you think. But because not a lot of people talk about it, this is like the one that a lot of people are embarrassed about. Because I mean, like out of all the different diseases in the world and all the different conditions in the world, so, um, affecting your armpits and for some people is between their legs, for some people is between their butt cheeks. For me, it was just under my arms. And so last year in October, I had surgery to remove the skin fun time fun time um before the surgery how i got the surgery basically was i got it in a hospital called kolebu teaching hospital kolebu um when i went to kolebu i saw a dermatologist and then the dermatologist from there referred me to uh, the plastic surgery department so i don't think you can just walk into the plastic surgery place and then tell them that oh hi i need this um even if you think you have it i would recommend actually i always recommend this but please please go and see a doctor somebody who was extremely helpful was this person called brown baby doll i think that's her youtube name she was very very helpful yeah, so in august i took some pictures so these are some pictures of how my armpits looked in august the healing process was what became painful so the surgery wasn't painful everything recovery wasn't painful but then the stitches so when they finish putting the stitches on and each time i'd go for dressing that's when i'd feel a little bit of pain you know hs if you have hs or you've had any experience with these bumps under your skin then you know that that is way more this is 20 times more painful than the surgery process so i completely recommend if your doctor says it's okay to have the surgery i completely recommend it i was actually supposed to do a surgery in another location but the reason i didn't want anybody to screw up this surgery is it's under your arm so it can really affect mobility even as we're talking right now one year later and i probably should be telling my doctor this i haven't told them i don't know why i didn't go back and tell them but i don't have feeling here so i think here i don't feel like it doesn't yeah something here i don't have feeling here i probably should have told the doctors i don't know why i didn't tell them sorry doctors if you're watching this i apologize now know that there's no cure for hs so even as you have the surgery it's very possible that you have this whole surgical process and when you finish having the surgery the condition the skin condition will come back in fact i had listened to a podcast where there was a guest on the show who came on who said hi you know what it was great things were great and i um I had HS when they did the surgery it was gone for a year after a year it came back and when I traveled to America I don't know what to see the food in that in that country I don't know what food is in that country but my skin started to act up again so I was like you have got to be kidding me how is it that I just had surgery a year ago and this skin condition is back I was livid um, but I had also heard the podcast and what they said so when that start, started happening I started trying to switch up my diet again um i have well i i don't drink dairy as much if i'm not eating chocolates i really try and have almond milk oat milk i have plant-based milks um if dairy isn't incorporated into the foods that i'm eating then i'd eat without having dairy inside i try and avoid dairy um in terms of food if you try eating just try eating as healthy as you can is what i'd recommend um so i really really do think that um if you're going through pain again there's no cure there's no solution it's very possible you will try these methods and they will not work but the closest thing i can say to making me feel better was eliminating certain things from my diet which would be so dairy and then yeast is what i took out so i'm about to read some of the questions that you guys sent in last year i don't know what it was about when i came back to ghana but when i came back to ghana my skin was not having it last year the ghana climate was just terrible for for my hs it just kept flaring up i would go to the hospital they would give me antibiotics the thing would grow 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 it was just it was a terrible time um 
last year in terms of my skin so i'm very very grateful for the surgery process that i did because i feel like i feel much much better so questions somebody says how did i heal my hs i didn't heal it it's, it's not something that you can solve it's not something that you can cure so even as i'm sitting here i rec like it's not gone i still have it it just is very well behaved right now but i haven't healed it what cream did i use i used beeswax so when my skin would get really really bad and then i'd grow like bumps under my armpits another thing i used was aloe vera so when i went to england um i don't know again the climate wasn't too bad so i would use aloe vera every single time it would come i'd put aloe vera on it and it was helping it to reduce as well another thing that helped was soap you want to look for soap that clean soap that isn't necessarily perfume soap antibacterial Another thing is deodorants. I don't use any deodorant that isn't natural. So any deodorants that are antiperspirants that say they want to stop you from sweating, any deodorants that are perfumed, I don't use that. Currently, I use a deodorant called Native. That one, I found it in America and I'm almost going to run out. Crystal deodorants. So crystal deodorants, you just pass it underwater, you use it. For a long time, I think I even have a video review of this, I use some deodorant called Nude. It's like in a little... It's in a little tub, kind of looking like um, toothpaste kind of thingy. I use that as well. Um, so I would go to the hospital and they'd also give me antibiotics. Um, and then that would also cause it to go down. But please, please, please go and see a doctor. How long did it take to heal? Each episode kept getting worse. So the first time I was diagnosed with HS was 2016, December. 2017, um, I think it occurred maybe three times in that year when i went to mauritius at the beginning of 2019 or something my skin wasn't having it i don't know what it is about certain climates but it just it just dingies i actually had to be admitted into the hospital and then they cut into my skin so that happened i think twice when i was in mauritius twice imagine oh, being admitted into the hospital two times in a whole different country when I came to Ghana for the 2020 year and everything that was happening, um, my skin just wasn't having it. I would get the bumps again. They would grow so bad. I wouldn't be able to raise up my hand. They would burst. I would have to go to the hospital. I would have to get bandages put under my arms. So a lot of the contents that I made during that time, I would literally have bandages in my hand. So after I'd done the plastic surgery, that's when I finally healed. That took, the, that took about two months. Um, but anyway, to help with the healing process, the nurses that used to change my bandages every day slash every two days, I would go to the University of Ghana hospital, um, the Legon hospital, and then um, I had a card. So each two days after I burst, after I saw a doctor and everything, the nurses would change it for me. So I didn't have to change it myself throughout. Like They were extremely nice, but they recommended that I have... Um, what's that thing called vitamin c and vitamin c really helps your skin heal so if you ever like have any bump again best then you can use vitamin c like in fruits vegetables sometimes i'll take the tablets um, but really oranges are your best friends and anything that has vitamin c and is natural so i'll do that and i realized that my healing process was a lot quicker but, oof, guys if you're watching this i completely sympathize and empathize with the people that are watching this and are going through this it's not an easy thing at all it's very hard to talk to about if my family wasn't a no filter family i honestly do not know how i would be having this conversation um with them because and so for all the people that are out there who do not have supportive friends who um whose friends think that is because so that's another thing there's a couple of misconceptions people think that it's because you don't shower which is a fat fat lie because you can bad 20 times in a day and it'll still okay um people will just there's a lot of stigma surrounding it because again i told you it's not the cutest disease autoimmune condition that's out there um and so yeah if you're watching this and you are going through this um to find a support system if you can try and switch up your diet your diet to add more vegetables to your diet to cut out things i know triggers again sugar between sugar dairy yeast um and that's literally everything i like i like croissants so if you can try and eat as healthy and as whole foody as possible so anything that's a whole whole foods um that'll be extremely helpful so if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section down below i know sometimes these are a bit tough to answer and so if you are really really shy and you feel like you can't ask these questions um feel free to create an anonymous youtube comment because i know that a lot of people that would watch this video um 
would love to answer some of these questions so again if you have any questions leave in the comment section down below and i would love to answer them or have a bunch of other people answer them there i just want to be, I just a, be, be a black bill gates in the making mm -hmm. so watch this space watch this space